I've come down for 48 hours fishing at Fernhill Farm Fishery just outside of Banbury. We're going to be doing a bit of car fishing today. Behind me is their specimen lake, uh, it's known as the Beast. Having a word with the bailiff, he said there's a good head of double figure fishing here with a few 20s and there are some 30s in as well and obviously of course there's plenty of singles. And since I've been here I've seen plenty of fish on top of the surface cruising around. They did say that last week recently they did spawn. So I mean it's it's touch or go really as to whether they're they're gonna get their heads down and feed. I might give a bit of surface fishing to go as well seeing as they are up on the surface, but for now I am on the bottom. We'll talk about rigs, tackle and bait later. But for now, gonna get a bit of fishing done, get myself settled in. Hopefully we're gonna get a fish just before the night comes in. Dinner time, folks, and tonight, stir fry, sweet and sour. Woo, we just kind of steamed up. Look at that. Not gonna lie, that's a real nice evening. Stir fry on the go, evening's coming, carp crashing around, fairy lights are out, why not? Yeah, not too bad. My fish still, but, you know, it's just nice being here, let's be honest. Definitely one of those lakes where if you don't get a fish, you're still gonna go back feeling completely refreshed. It's one of those places you can just come and relax and chill out. But I do want a fish, so come on the carp. Let's be having ya. Almost bedtime. So just as I'm sorting out the uh, stir fry, typically, of course, a rod's gone off. And when I say the rod went off, it literally went off, off of the pod, and virtually almost into the bloody lake. To which I tripped and put my left foot in there. So now I've got a soaking wet foot. But it's my first one of the lake and it put up an absolute stonker of a fight. It's a beautiful common, 11 pounds, 8 ounce. Nice little tidy weight. Just gotta be careful because it's quite scrappy this. just before 10 o'clock. So we've got one, uh, got within the first 24 hours, which is great. We're gonna get him back and get the rods back out on the spot. And hopefully we're gonna bag another one. Morning everybody. Do excuse me, I'm just getting breakfast on the go. Sausage, cheese, beans, eggs and bacon, nice. Absolutely nothing last night. The lake was very, very quiet. There was, there was plenty of fish splashing around. But just couldn't buy a bite. I had that really nice common uh, just before dark. So that was nice to have. It, it was nice to get one on the bank. Um, starting to rain a bit now but uh, yeah I was having a chat with a few people and they've not caught anything and uh, from what I've been told it, it's, it's not easy this water and um, I'm quite enjoying that to be fair it, it, it's more challenging so to speak I mean I fish quite a lot of waters where you know you've uh, you've got a good chance of catching carp if you put a bait in most places where he really do have to think about it and uh, it's a different style of carp fishing for me. It's proper carp fishing, I guess people would say. But it's nice, it's challenging, I like it. But it's 1 0 so far to me. I'm just gonna drink my tea, eat my breakfast, reel the rods in, might change the rigs around a bit, and um, see if we can at least try to attempt to bag another one. Food first, though. Okay, so for rigs, I'm going to be using my go-to anywhere rig on the first rod, which is a solid PVA bag, using a two-ounce inline pair for that one. Got a creamy white pop-up micro feed pellets on it. 
have a lot of faith in it and being a new venue i want to have faith in what i'm putting out there so that's absolutely going out second one is just a standard hair rig nothing fancy about it no tubing no nothing just a bog standard hair rig on a hybrid uh one of the uh, hybrid leg clips from quarter two ounce lead and i'm going to be using a red fish mill boiler on that just scattering a few boilies over an area just near the reeds and uh, where the weed growth is it's a nice clear patch and hopefully we're going to get a few fish on top of that as well when it comes to surface fishing if we get around to doing it and doing a bit of stalking literally nothing but a hook on there that's all i want there's too much weed i don't want anything else i don't want to use a controller or anything like that because there's far too much weed just a bare hook on the line and i'm using 10 pound main line on that one because i need to try and get them out of those uh little lilies that are in there and the weed that's growing on the bottom but so far we're one down We'll see if we can get a few more. Well, it's just gone midday on day two and it's still very, very quiet and still no fish by the one we had last night. Most of the fish are all up on the surface at the moment, so I've decided to reel the rods in and uh, come down in. We're going to try a little bit of stalking, just a size six hook and a bit of crust on the surface. I'm going to see if we can winkle one out on top. So here goes nothing. Well, so far I've been stalking for about two hours and the fish have literally been everywhere, all over the surface. Two of them. Two of them have come up for the bait and twice I've missed. Everyone else, no. It's not even bothered by the food right now. And uh, now there's a thunderstorm storm rolling in. 2020 is a big adventure this year, isn't it? Crikey. But yeah, just the one still. So, really struggling today. Um, see what we can do. Hopefully once this stops I'll get up back out and I'll see if we can get one on the surface but I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Maybe this might push them down in the bottom but we'll see. I'm just going to enjoy the thunderstorm and then the surface back too. Well, that's a nice little wake up call this morning. Decided to get up a little bit early, saw more on the surface, thought I'd get the old floating bread crust back out. And here's the result, a nice little eight pound chunky common. Again, lovely beautiful colours. I'm gonna put it back, see if we can get one more. I gave it a couple more hours on the surface. Again, that's still very, very finicky. Just as I'm packing up, one decided to slurp it down. So one more for the row. Just a little common. There we are. Again, still beautiful colours. And I'm just happy that I've got the three fish that I've got, really. Uh, speaking around the lake, not much has been caught. And uh, it's been a very difficult few weeks on this lake. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe, there are more coming. Till next time, tight lines.